What's up, everybody? Welcome to Epic Battle Cry, the place where we cut through the crap to get to the real deal on the gaming industry. Today, I am Daniel Kaiser, joined, as always, by Tony Grice Woo-hoo! and Brent Adams. It is Wednesday, day. September 3rd, 2013, uh, 14, 15? I don't know, 14, that's right. Is that your impression of the, the hump day camel? It is. Was it not hump good? Day. Yeah, that, no, it's that, pretty good. I just I, I caught me but, off guard. Uh, so anyway, how are you guys Shouldn't doing? Everybody good? Mm. It's when Daniel's got his hump day camel down. He's got his Mickey Mouse down. That's right. <laughs> he's got his movie. He's got his movie guy voice down. That's, I mean, uh, right? Basically, we need to, we need to make an animated film starring those three characters. Oh, oh that'd be awesome. I really think so. And illegal. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the rights to Mickey. <laughs> That's true. Anyway. Do we... Do we uh, <laughs> we're going to drop the puck for today's conversation. Um, uh, I'm obviously uh, excited about this because it has to do with hockey. Man, I am too. I've been wanting to talk about this. And since oh. you guys are such sports fans, this should be really enthralling. Uh, what you have to... <laughs> But the conversation. Yeah, but get ready for enthrallment. Make sure you're sitting down. It's really bigger than <laughs> just the sport and just the game. It's really a, a bigger question. But anyway, the question comes from Ninja Turtle, which is also at Officer Dimes. Um, Sweet. That, that's a little confusing to me because there's like he's got a Toronto Maple Leaf icon. He's talking about Ninja Turtles, mm-hmm. Officer Dimes. So like, pick one. You know, like pick a theme. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, be, just maybe, be into one. Maybe thing. Ninja Turtle Don't be was into multiple t- things. Yeah, maybe Ninja Turtle was already <laughs> taken, like on Twitter, you know? Maybe. And so he's like, okay, well, I'll think. go with Officer Dimes, but that's not nearly as right, cool as like, Ninja Turtle. But if, so but like, I've got to raise the coolness quotient with, like, you know, a, a Canadian maple leaf. Hope that Well, helps. but if his name's Ninja Turtle, but, and then, like, his handle is, like, at Bebop Rocksteady 4412 or something, like, it'd be like, okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. I get that'd be cool. it. <laughs> like, I get it all fits. But anyway, what doesn't fit is the EA Sports Hockey League. <laughs> into what the <laughs> what a segue upcoming edition of NHL 15 of a demo for NHL 15 just recently dropped the game is coming out very soon um, NHL 15 obviously is the first in the franchise to make the next gen leap to the eighth gen of consoles which is the Xbox one and PS4 um, but they are leaving behind the most important mode as Ninja Turtle says to the loyal fan base and I would agree the online leagues um, for those who don't know the EA Sports Hockey League uh, was introduced last generation an awesome feature to it uh, to a great game um, that basically allows you to play as a online hockey player you could form with other teams you I mean if you're a goalie or if you're a right winger whatever you are you literally play that position and jump into people's games or form a, a team and have game nights and it's you literally get better at your position and your stats gain every time you play um, so it's a really really fun game uh, of uh, mode within the EA Sports game so it, the obviously now it's coming to Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but it's it's not going to include EA Sports Hockey League from what we know. Um, I believe that's been confirmed. It was rumored. Uh, I, I do think they've confirmed yeah, it. So, yeah. have, have they talked about the logic and and why they left it out? Have, have they talked about what their reasoning was in this? Well, t- well, Okay. Well, I was just going to say, typically, you know, making the next-gen leap, they put so much effort into actually programming the initial engine, the initial yeah. engine on the game, okay? EA's Ignite right. engine, everything that they're using, um, and, you know... So they're like, look, this this year's, like, this, this year's, like, Nissan GTR, the paint job on this thing is so, is, like, so just next-gen. Yeah. And, and so advanced that we actually couldn't, we actually couldn't include the steering wheel. Right. So... Well, and that's and that's or pretty is it more though. they include the steering wheel and said, "Hey, the paint job on here might not be that great, but you can get repainted in a year." Or well, two. now here's mm-hmm. like here's I, the I, thing, I sort of like feel the, like the core. But isn't this more like function over? F- yeah, you know, so, form is what I'm saying. The, the mode is going to be present in the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of the game. It's not like they've ditched the mode. It's just bring it to the eighth gen consoles. It is not going to be so. It, it's it's just not going to be available in PS4 and Xbox One. Right, so that, exactly. That's well, then gonna... that's an even stupider excuse. Yes, what, it, well, it, and that's, what the shit's that's going what on Ninja here? Said, like, I'm the, outraged. Well, and this <laughs> I've is, never even played this so game, but fuck. Em. Whether we're talking about the uh, hockey or whatever, this brings <laughs> up the conversation for today, which is when making the next gen leap with a franchise in which you have established features. What is the right yeah. approach? I mean, obviously, it's got to be right next approach gen. is to include them. 
I would think so. I, I would think, I mean, it's core to everything, and you're trying to incentivize people to pick but, it up on the next-gen consoles. Um, but uh, well, Are you? Well, I, maybe not. I don't know. But I do remember, I remember like when the Is first it, Madden came out for Xbox 360. I mean, it, I, it had like nothing. I mean, it was literally like like a season but but do you think can i just ask that real quick do you think that they do that on like like i I sort of i feel like some people are coming at this from the perspective of like you know well they just they should have done this or not do it at all and and i don't think that that's that way i think it's basically like look we have so many resources we have so much time it we need to get a game that is playable in its most you know in, in the most basic form which means we have you know the 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 single player you know career mode and we have you know the, the the players don't just you know fucking glitch out constantly throughout the game. We got to have a core game made, and you know, and because it's easy to implement on the 360 and PS3 because it's already been implemented. Let's you know, let's be honest. Those games aren't usually getting a very big overhaul from year to year. They usually tweak it, change a few things here or there, right. and so leaving that feature enabled in there wasn't like well if they put it in there why couldn't they put it in here i'm sure that it's a, a little more work to get it put into the, the you know a completely new engine a completely new game on the on the next gen hardware so i mean to me this is just more of a thing like do you do you, would you rather them have not made this game this year and just come out with a fully realized all the features you know, next year. Well, I think most people would be okay having the game at to some degree this year, and and them add because they've even said that they're going to be adding online uh, multiplayer, which I don't think is going to be at launch, but it's going to come through a patch later. So, you know, I think they're already sort of saying like, look, these aren't features that we're just saying like, you know, yeah, we didn't really care for them. We know you liked them, but we're never going to have them again. It's just like, yeah, they're not going to be in this year's game, right? Yeah. I mean, am I am I crazy? No, I mean, in fact, on their website, you know, I mean, they, they, they talk about, you know, bringing, you know, when we finished NHL 14, our focus was to bring the NHL franchise to the Xbox One and PS4. Our goal from day one was to build f- from the core out and deliver a truly next generation gameplay and presentation experience for all of our fans to enjoy. So, I mean, I I assume that there's, you know, there's, there's a lot involved um, that will, you know... Uh, in in taking the franchise to the next generation with everything that they're doing um and and so incorporating that into the ea sports hockey league i think is you know uh, probably pretty difficult i guess i don't know <laughs> well yeah i mean so I'm just asking you though do you think this is something that like do you do you feel like they're going to have this in next year's version of the game oh yeah of course so so in a way is it that they just are choosing not to put it in this year's or they just really were unable to and if they're unable to i mean isn't that somewhat understandable i mean a little bit yeah, of disappointment no, I, don't get me wrong I, but, I think there but i mean i think the the yearly iterations again i think the yearly iterations of the franchise dictate small development cycles in which they have to prioritize getting the game out making it look good and perform well at its core and then layering on features is typically the standard but at the same time you have a franchise you have a fan base that is loyal to your franchise and you're basically taking away one of the biggest things so to me you know the the cost of removing a feature like that is extremely high um they still have the option of playing it on the last gen though yes they they do and and i guess if if that is is such a core i guess the, the the mentality is look we could have just not developed a game this year and then delivered it next year with the ea sports yeah. hockey league and you know there you go and so this is i guess to be looked at as simply a transition year is is typically what happens when a new console launches It'd be really interesting to to see, number one, how does this game do in comparison to the last iteration? And then number two, what is the breakdown split between last gen and current gen purchases for NHL 15? It'd be really interesting to see how people respond to this. Do people just not buy the game? Do they get the last version of the game? Like, is, is the feature that important that they don't get it on on current gen console, For even some though people, they probably would I mean, like would yesterday, we that. talked about the multiplayer experiences, and and this this game people talk about in terms of like it's multi in terms of sports multiplayer experiences. This is one of the best. Uh, so, yeah. you know, it not being, but, and it's it's kind of that bummer. Do thing, you anticipate? You know? Do you anticipate that this is going to be like a defining factor in, in purchasing decision? Like people are like, you know what, I really wanted to get this on current gen, but 
I just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do without yeah. this feature. I'll get it on last year. Like like, do you think that this that this will steer a lot of people to getting the I the the last I version, think last who, console version of the I game? I think people who already have a, a console and and uh, an Xbox One or a PlayStation Four, they will likely. I mean, this honest to God, they might get both versions to play online in the 360 and just to experience the which is the, which is the gamble that ea is is taking um but gamble nothing it sounds like they're betting on it they're like you know what we will get these fuckers to buy this if, game twice yeah, if they i don't think that I, I, just, I think they, they figure people the are going to buy the old game if they really want that mode if, if you, you know? don't have one of the new consoles absolutely not you're going to stick with the xbox 360 version I, you're not going to buy yeah. but even though the game which, looks which really admittedly good, i mean you know? you know there's still tons of people that don't have the new version of the you know that don't have the, the current consoles but we are or that you know, still we, have the we old are closing ones, in like, yeah. on a year we are closing yeah. in on those consoles being in the marketplace yeah, for a exactly. year the, the one thing i was going to point out too is like one of the best sports games that i've ever you know played recently was nba 2k14 awesome. from from uh for the ps4 last year yeah. and i gotta be honest i really felt like other than the core gameplay the game was, in my opinion, a mess. Like, the online was really spotty. Like, even to this date, I don't think that it's still really solid. Um, the interface, I thought, was atrocious. I thought it was incredibly difficult to get around and to do the things you want to. The career mode was just, I, I thought, was terrible. I mean, once you kind of understood it and got used to it, it was, I guess, okay. Or some people liked it. But I just, all of the other aspects, other than the core, th but the thing was, you got into a game, and that all sort of fell away. You're like, holy yeah. shit. Okay, granted, I'm missing a lot of things that I really like. And frankly, a lot of those same things were either there or working in the same version of the game, the 2K14 on the old gen consoles that was running the old engine right. that did not look anywhere near as good, did not have some of the you know new animations for the players and stuff. But... You know, people still wanted to play the new one because what advances were made were so amazing. Yeah. That, that, you know, you, you still want to experience that. And that, to me, is sort of like this. That's that, that kind of thing. And I agree that there will be a few people I think will buy both. I think it really is going to come down to people that play it and play it for real and want to play it online and love this mode. They're probably just going to play that because, I mean... If they're wanting to play the game, they want to play that mode, right? Yeah, I mean, you totally. know, are they going to? It's, it's you know, so I mean, they may, they may play a demo of the you know next gen right. version just to get an idea of what next year's version that yeah, will include yeah, all the yeah, features totally. will be. But I, I I sort of think that you know this is for people that yeah they this is a this is a stepping stone they have yeah, to have and, this and game which unfortunately is going to be missing. Build it. It's it's not yeah. easy, you know what I'm saying? And I, I yeah. definitely and th but this in. The, the reality and the truth of the situation is that they impose the yearly cycles of these games themselves and benefit from them and everybody shows up and buys them but it is those yearly cycles that keep them from being able to truly deliver the product that they want at the time that they want so well, but and, uh, and they know, also they, is, they give you i mean it's not like you are obligated to buy it every year i mean right, honestly exactly. i don't buy sports games every year so i mean you know even though they are putting out a product every year that in no way means that people have to go out and buy it. matter of fact you probably would be better off to wait like every other year because usually there's a much bigger yeah. jump in, yes, in lots yes. of different features not just graphically so i mean you know it I, I don't i don't know i just i don't really see that this is a do, do we see do we see similar kind of uh of, of transition years in other yearly franchises like assassin's creed call of duty uh, are well, we seeing them like sometimes like pulling to features? a certain degree not i don't think i don't think it's as because it's not as in a way as it is in a, in yeah, a sports game because the sports games typically build upon themselves right so they they make the hardware leap Okay, the, the first thing that happens is the hardware leap where they're able to add better graphics, better player models, better physics, better things to make it more realistic. And then then they start saying, oh, wouldn't this be a great feature to build on top of that engine? So then they layer on the features. And that happens through the course of, of the life cycle of that platform. So when you're jumping to a new platform, you're basically starting from scratch. So it is understandable yeah. that they need to lay the foundation first. But, you know, it's a pretty pretty big thing to lose to take away something that's you know so such a core element of that experience now yeah so anyway all right i, you know, I, I mean it's a definitely it's a good question it is I a just, good question I, you know, and, and and something i, I think, I think that a lot of consumers answer, you know across other genres it's a it, it is different because you know i don't know if 
if I can cite an example of a first person shooter uh, that like a Halo that like lost features when it jumped to uh, a lot of the call of duties honestly year to year they 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 change they, enough things that people that liked what they liked about the last game they've changed like like the way they structure lobbies or yeah. the way you can put together different teams on like they do kind of make those same sorts of changes the thing is and I, I kind of agree with you because it's sort of like it's a sport that is a real thing that goes on year to year to year right. you sort of, it's more it's more jarring when you lose a feature yeah. because you, it's kind of you feel like it should always be progressing like it just build upon in the itself. same direction like something that was there but, you shouldn't know, go yeah. away yeah but even madden has done that before oh, yeah. where like they would change some fairly you know uh, fairly big features and fairly big ways that you you handle stuff from from year to year and some people would like those changes some people wouldn't they they sometimes they'd roll those changes back right. the next year and i mean they they do this all the time I think you just it, and here's the thing is a lot of people I think out there are kind of saying like well hey look if it's not if you can't put that feature in well then why not just wait well why not just wait to buy the game yeah. you know what I mean like why just well, buy the buy to, the last I gen think version I of the will. game thank you to put buy it, the I, last gen version of the hey, game play the feature that you that you love so much I'm excited and, to play and then Xbox wait till the next year to get it single player with the Avs the Rangers I mean it looks like a fantastic game so Good for I'm you. excited to play it but at the same time it'll it'll feel complete when we have the EASHL back into the game and that will be next year. So anyway, hope that answers your uh, question, Ninja Turtle. What please, was his question? Please tell April <laughs> O'Neil that we collectively said hi. Um, and if you have a question that you would like for us to answer on an upcoming edition I got of another Epic Battle Axe, please let us know by sending your question to us via Twitter at Epic Battle Axe. You could also check us out on YouTube at Epic ba- YouTube slash YouTube.com slash Epic Battle Axe or of course our website EpicBattleAxe.com where all the axe heads unite and do fun things each and every day, um, including calling each other names. So anyway, if you have... Very rarely. Uh, I don't think very they really rarely. do that that much, do they? Actually? They're very nice to each other. <laughs> well, they do, but it's their we, avatar name. We, we so kind of okay. have a rule cool. against that, yeah, actually. Yeah, actually. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> we have a rule against that, so scratch that last part. But anyway, <laughs> hope that answered your question, and uh, we appreciate you joining us here on Home Day, and we will see you tomorrow on another Home edition day. of Epic Battle Cry for Tony Grice and Brent Adams. I'm Daniel Kaiser, and we'll see you soon. Take care. And by soon, we mean about 24 hours. Correct. Yes. I mean, but just, really but for those listening behind the scenes, we're about to record it right now. Yes. So. Yeah. If you're listening to the if you listen to the Friday show, then this is like <laughs> this is just easy. We'll see you like just, a two. This is just happening. This shit just, just got real. happened, dude.